big plans for today. Productive plans. Here at home. I'll show you what I was supposed to do. It didn't get done. It's 1 p.m. I'm leaving here in a minute to go run an errand or two before I pick up the girls from school. And I'm only picking them up with the graciousness of my heart because I don't need to. But they both just want to ride home. Kaylee's getting a little too used to having a ride to school. And she has a car that she can use, but she has no parking pass. <laughs> so she can't park the car at school. So they're getting a little too used to having a ride home. Abby has to on Wednesdays. She goes, driver said, let me show you what I should have done today. But instead, hmm, I spent the morning right here. But I am halfway through a house in Hana. It is so good. I'm addicted, but I can't. I can't spend any more time on this. I started reading it last night, got about 50 pages in, read another 50 pages here on the couch this morning, fell asleep, took a nap. <sighs> Chelsea even got up this morning and came into my room um, when she should have been in school or getting, yeah, she should have been in school. I was like, wait, why aren't you in school? And she's like, I slept, I need to sleep. I need to go back to bed. <laughs> we all slept so bad last night. We don't know if it was the wind keeping us up or I had hives. I had hives all up my arm, like all the way up to my elbow. Um, it was, I don't know what the heck happened. Ashley came into my room for melatonin. No, she came in at 11, wouldn't take melatonin, came into my room again at one. So each time she's kind of waking me as I'm finally getting to sleep. Um, took melatonin at 1 and then Chelsea came in at 2 a.m. and took melatonin. I got up at 2 a.m. and washed my arm off, tried to get rid of these hives. Didn't have allergy medicine upstairs, didn't want to come down here to get it. And then I just took melatonin again and just sat on my phone to distract myself from hands. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're probably waking Jason up um, as we were doing all of that and he had to get up at 6 a.m. to take my dad to the airport. <laughs> I feel so bad. Let me, but this is what I was supposed to do today and why I look like this. <sighs> you guys, this pantry is like thrown up on itself. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Those are just like overflowing. We haven't put cereal in a container for a long time because the kids refused to finish off the last little bits of the cereal. Also, the cereal is finally on rebate at Costco, so I'm starting to stock up on that stuff. I'll talk more about that in a second. But like, and I'm once again using my powder drinks um, in the morning. So, snack bucket, snack bucket, snack bucket, thrown up all over the floor down here. More stuff that doesn't fit because this is too full. That's what I was supposed to do today. I was supposed to do a whole pantry clean out. Mm-mm. I don't even have it in me. I couldn't get on the treadmill this morning. I couldn't do a little step aerobics. I am blitzed. I am absolutely blitzed. Mm. Even sitting at the computer, I've been at the computer for an hour now, finishing up a video, editing it, getting it uploaded, replying to all your comments. Um, I couldn't even reply to comments yesterday. I was so tired yesterday. And we were busy and whatnot, but like, <laughs> finally caught up on all the comments. I think I've missed two. Some of you write such heartfelt comments that in the moment I read them and I try and like put a check in a heart by it so that you know that I've read them. But I wanna give a heartfelt response back. So don't feel like I'm ignoring your comments. I want to actually like sit down and like write out a really good response. And I think I've missed two because there were two comments. I don't remember who they were from. Patty I think was one of them. I can't remember who the other one was. They were such heartfelt comments, and now I, they're not showing up as me not responding to them. Sometimes I think when Jason responds to them, even though it's a separate account, it like shows for me that it's been responded to for some reason. I don't know, but I'm gonna, I can't go out like this. I wear an oversized sweatshirt and big baggy pants. But you guys, look at this. Hang on. My shirt's are too big and oversized. They're comfy for when I'm like hanging out in the house. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. I just am <laughs> running out of like comfortable clothes to rip to wear going out of the house and feeling comfortable and not like oversized. 
but it's a good thing. I just need to go get changed and feel a little bit better about myself. I also have a ton of laundry to do, but look at these sheets. Aren't they cute? I got a new set for my dad to use. He just slept here on the couch. He didn't want an air mattress or this like big mat because he's like, I won't be able to get up. <laughs> and he said, if I'm on the couch, my knees can, can stand up. So anyway, I got this set of sheets and I want an extra set for my bed. So it was worth getting them for him because now when I want to change my sheets, which I want to do now because I got hives and I think it's just from my sheets getting dust on them. I'm allergic to dust, which is fantastic. I want to be able to take the sheets off this bed and immediately put new ones on and I don't have two sets. So now I do and they're fun and they're tropical and you know me, I need my tropical vibe, especially here in January. I'm getting a little depressed already after the holidays. So I'm gonna get changed here and cleaned up. See what trouble we can go get into. All right, I'm, I'm at Target. I have a prescription pickup. That's all I'm getting at Target. I'm trying to tell myself that's all I'm getting. But I just got here and it suddenly occurred to me that I had put my driver's license and my new credit card I lost mine at a Tesla charging station on our road trip home from my family's house. Luckily I have a debit card. Uh, this will be the time I get pulled over without a driver's license. I have it with me 100% of the time, 100 days of the year. 100% of the time. Oh, I hate not having it with me. <laughs> now I'm gonna be terrified. I might even not run my one errand because I don't want to get... Anyway, I, I drive well, so it's not like I'm going to draw attention to myself, but I'm just so annoyed. I literally just have a prescription to get here at Target, and then I have one thing. To, I'm going to look for notebooks at Marshall's just because it's fun, and planners and stuff are all on display in January at Marshalls and Home Goods, so they'll be easier to find and they'll be in higher supply. So we're gonna go check that out, see if I have any luck. Nothing is working out. Yeah, haven't gone in yet. Pharmacy's closed right now for their lunch break for a half hour, which is when I need to be on my way to the next errand because then I need to be on my way to go get the girls from school. Oh my gosh, I'm not doing anything right today. I'm not doing anything right. Well, this is a bummer. This is literally the only notebook of this kind. I mean, like, they're different colors on their sides, but... I'm just bummed. Like, everything else is just planners. That one's like that. And then this is, like, too big. Notebooks, or those are folders. Here's a happy planner, but I don't do happy planner. I don't do planner style. This is kind of a cute little birthday calendar, but I don't do much for birthdays outside of my girls, and they're all in one month. <laughs> April and August. I don't know, I wouldn't use that. All right, here's a few more. Maybe I'll get lucky, but I think a lot of these are just planners. Um, yeah, they're just kind of planners. Maybe I'll find one for Chelsea though, like a notebook notebook. I don't know. Okay, I found this one. It's just too big. Like that's, I love this print. It's very, very, very cute, but too big. So I did find this one. It's very plain, <laughs> very plain Jane, but I love the um, folder pocket on the inside of this one. And then I found this one for Chelsea and all her arts and notes and anyway, she goes through these pretty quick. So I'm going to pick that one up for her. All right, I keep forgetting to look at baskets. This is actually what I wanted for Ashley's, like uh, her chest of drawers um, top. I wanted her to have something like this, but she wanted the bucket style, which is fine. But I'm gonna pick this up. We're gonna put our remotes in this basket on the couch so that they don't fall down in the cracks. We're always losing the remotes down the cracks of the couch. For eight bucks, I think this is gonna look nice on the couch and we'll put them in there. So I'm gonna pick that guy up. It doesn't need to be that big. It's like barely the size of like these notebooks, but the other ones are gonna be too big. So 
I think that's the only one that's like smaller. These other ones are pretty big. All right, so I don't have much to show for it because mine's already gone, but I made these udon noodles from Costco for dinner tonight. These teriyaki stir fry udon noodles. It's a four pack and it was on rebate. I think it was like four bucks. I'm not even kidding you. So four servings of these noodles for $4. I want to check it again, but I have another package in the freezer, not the freezer, the fridge. Let me show you what they look like. Jason's still eating his. Right, tonight I made it for me and him and Kaylee. Pretty, oh, you're oh you're picking out all the peas. Not all of them. Huh. But it's pretty good. And for that price, I just, I froze it accidentally last night. When I pulled out the package, I put it back in the freezer instead of the fridge. But it worked out just fine to have it frozen, which means we can have it and have it last for longer. Do uh, you agree that it was good, Kaylee? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I forgot to pick up the camera because I took a nap. Again, this is my second nap of the day. Um, right, right there on the couch. It was, oh, he turned off the fireplace. I was cold. I snuggled up by the fire, took a nap, read my book, took a nap. <laughs> it's pretty good. You it's had good. A, good, a good day at work, but you're tired, huh? I'm really beat. Yeah, we're all beat. I'm surprised Chelsea hasn't fallen asleep, but her and Ashley have been up there giggling and chatting with Ashley's friends and having a good time. So get, uh, get them down here to eat. They didn't want these noodles. But, um, Look at my little basket of remotes. It's really dark in here, but the basket works. Now we can keep track of all the remotes. And uh, I can even, hang on. Well, isn't that handy? I can put my little water bottle in there and not have it tip over on the couch as I sit here and read a book. So 